quite a game. What were your thoughts on the game? Good, good contest. Um, you know, two teams that like to do it a little bit differently from the attacking side of things, but um, in the end it was scrambling, committed defensive work that, that made the game uh, probably the contest that it was. Um, yeah, there was a lot of 50-50 plays and drama in the game. Um, probably one of those that would have been great on TV. Taking things in order, first half, not many chances to speak of, but clinical in the game. Yeah, yeah, I thought um, the game probably lacked a bit of rhythm um, for, for whatever reason, errors and a few other bits and bobs. Um, even the, the stoppage there at the end where someone was getting strapped up lacked a little bit of rhythm, which is probably what most, you know, both those teams like a bit of rhythm and a bit of flow to the game. Um, but so it was, it was one of those that was pleasing to, to win, find a way to, to win and... It was, um, yeah, it was a good hard battle. It could have gone either way. Pleased with a win, obviously, but I guess if there was one error of disappointment, it might be that first 10, 15 minutes of the second half. Well, the first set after half time was really um, disappointing. I think we've been, we've been strong at um, sort of limiting teams' opportunities, but I thought various times today we tried a little bit too hard with our line speed, where yeah, that, that type of attack, I'm not sure if you need much line speed. You, you just need to be very connected when they're going sideline to sideline. But, um, yeah, the, you know, Sneed's an unbelievable kicker, I think. Did all three tries come from his kicks? Um, aside from that, uh, you know, we've had another game where there's no tries from uh, sort of running play. But having let them back into the game, you must have been equally pleased with the way that the team lifted and re-established some control towards the end. Yeah, they're a quality team. They're well coached. I've said that a lot, a lot of times. They're a team that believe in what they do. They ask a lot of questions um, of your defensive line. And I'm you know, really pleased with the way that we uh, stuck together at the back end. It was a tricky situation. There was lots of bits and bobs going on. Uh, but we held our nerve. We played together. And... Yeah, I think we deserved that win today. Last one from me, no Austin today, but Caesar seemed to stand up really well. He had a few um, big plays in the game, and particularly at the end, that type of kick and chase game. Um, you know, he talks about that a lot, and he led the way with that. Um, he, he, he stepped forward in, in Blake's absence, um, but that was a, a good team, gritty, uh, hang in there type performance today across the board. Ruined. You spoke. You speak a lot about um, connectivity defensively. Do you think that's what won you the game? So that first half, like goal line defence, never really looked like it was going to Um, it's hard to put it down to any one thing, but you know, I thought we dealt with their ball movement well. Um, they're a dangerous team, and they keep asking questions. And if you solve it, they just keep asking as well. So, um, yeah, I. Th I'd, I'd say that our team defence versus their shift plays was, you know, a key part in getting the result today. A long way to go, obviously, but does this feel the same as it did last year when you started that run? No. What's different? Uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're further ahead as an actual footy team than than this time last year. Um, but that's about the only reflection you're going to get out of me. That was today's performance, and you know we've got a short turnaround. Whole KR, and it's on um, before we've we've got a break. So we'll be we'll be hungry coming into that next next opportunity on Friday at home. How do you think Corey Johnson went on in the house, and what was the thinking behind the output in that? Uh, I think based on the season to date, it was important to keep some cohesion this week. Um, when you, you know, if you're going on long winning runs and whatever, you can sort of jumble, juggle your team around and it probably doesn't really matter too much. But for us, trying to get a bit of rhythm, I thought it was the best way to go. Uh, Corey did a good, solid job um, with every sort of Super League performance. He hasn't played a lot of Super League. Like, that's, that's a lot of pressure there today, playing against Tim Lafay, who's, you know, among the most dangerous players in the competition, ball runner-wise. You know, even when there's nothing doing, there is something doing. Um, for him to defend out there, 
with all those plays about getting thrown at him. I mean, he did a good job defensively. He's got good energy. He's fit. He's a competitor. Uh, and with each game that goes by, he'll grow into the, the attacking skills that he has as a hooker and a half, I think. Um, but today he did a, a steady job, competed hard, um, and the, you know, the boys really trust him and believe in him, so he did what was asked of him today. Rowan, how easy is it, or otherwise, for players to hold them to when the game's in situations like a like two-point game, everything on the line, you know, you all that's helped them How easy or otherwise is it for players to do that? It's difficult, and that's what makes players. The ability to execute in those periods of time are really what differentiates the, you know, the best players. It's not always so what they do during the uh, the start of the game, but being able to do it when the game's on the line. You know, in other sports, they keep stats on what happens in the last two minutes or last four minutes of a game. Um, it's all good performing at the start of a game, but. Being able to do it when the game is literally on the line um, is important and you know, people kept turning up there, we defended our goal line well, you know, people putting their head over the ball and brave acts because they're desperate to get a result and um, you know, the, I thought the, the travelling fans today were immense as well, they were rewarding the players right from um, the opening stages of the game and kept, the players kept feeding off that. There's another strong performance from us. Hanley, uh, Rowan, he, he, he obviously got on the score sheet, but it's kind of the stuff that he does in the backfield that really makes him tick and stand out. Yeah, carries the ball hard. He's brave. Um, you know, I think there's, there's plenty of other guys in that room as well, but he's one of those that um, he's the teammate that people want to play with. And he, you know, he plays for the name on the front, not the one on the back. Um, that would be my best way to, to sum up Ash. He plays hard. Did James Bentley best sort the result of the team this afternoon? Um, he, he competed hard and he found a way to, to execute some big plays. He got put under a lot of pressure with their shift plays. He was having to check and release and um, to have the energy that he did at the back end was um, a massive contributor to what we did. Does it feel like a big win this one, go in the manner of it and, and what's the effect it's had on the table? Um, they all feel like big wins in my head, um, every one of them, all the way back to when I uh, first started head coaching a long time ago in other grades. They're all massive. Uh, I know it has standing on the table, but they, you know, there's so long to go. And another weekend of twists and turns in the Super League, which is great for the competition, great for the fans of all clubs the followers of all clubs to understand that every game is literally a contest for two points and the better everyone believes in that, thrives on that, enjoys that, um, the better our sport is rather than preempting, you know, results based on ladder position. Um, it's great, you know, we've had some tough periods of this season but we've never been that far off the mark. We're in a little patch of finding a way. Uh, but counts for nothing again on Friday. It's on again, and you know, okay, are going to be desperate. Did uh, Donald fail this? Uh, I didn't. I didn't ask, but I presume so because we had to give away a card. So um, yeah, I think there's been a, a bunch of head knocks over the weekend across the league. So um, that's you know disappointing for Dono and, and for the other guys.